Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ronnie Hale. I'm with Hailstorm Custom Kydex, and we're here today to showcase some of the sheets that we build here. Uh, a little bit of custom work along with some stock sheets that we sell on eBay and you can also contact me through my website. I uh, want to start off by saying that we can build everything from the very tiny BK-13, the Becker, K-Bar Becker Remora, also all the way down to the SE Kandiru and as you can see we use the knives here at Hailstorm. And we can build from there all the way up to the big SE Hunglas. So any type, any size knife that you have, we can accommodate you in custom Kydex. Uh, one of the things we want to showcase today is what we call a piggyback system. For those of you that spend time out in the woods, uh, hiking, bushcraft, camping, uh, hunting, fishing, any type of wilderness, uh, we offer a proprietary system that we try to include just about everything you're going to need. Uh, you'll notice that we, on this particular model, we have the SE6. And along with the SE6, we have the SE Izula 2. What our system does, it allows you to have a big knife, wood processing, shelter building, uh, field dressing and cleaning of large game animals. But then most people always carry another smaller knife for camp chores, and our system allows you to have both in one. Along with that, the necessity for fire is always there in the outdoors uh, in any situation, especially in a survival situation. So we custom make a fire steel and attach it right to the sheath. Our fire steel has a custom made handle that matches all the Kydex. This bungee cord is a marine grade bungee cord. It's UV and chemical resistant. It's not the cheap bungee cord you buy at the local hardware store. Everything that we make, all of our components here at Hailstorm are made in the USA. We use alloy steel screws and we use black brass coated eyelets, uh, post, I'm sorry, for all of our Chicago screws. Basically, we make our own Chicago screws with the brass post or steel post and alloy steel screws. One of the things that we wanted to showcase today is here at Hailstorm, we only use very thick, heavy duty. 080 and 090 Kydex. This particular black SE6, SE Azula model uh, is 090. It's very thick, very heavy duty. It will last a lifetime. Uh, one of the things you can see, I'm trying to move this around in the sunlight. If you look at all the seams on both sheaths, we seal all of our seams. They're buffed, they're rounded off, they're polished. It makes putting this sheath next to your body or carrying it on your hip or anywhere else very comfortable and it's just good quality. It just seals everything off and it makes for a very beautiful, very functional sheath. Also on our piggyback, you'll notice that the smaller sheath is a little bit offset. That makes drawing the smaller knife easier. It's a little bit closer at the bottom than is it at the top. We use heavy duty marine grade nylon spacers whenever we install anything instead of just the cheap rubber washers. Here on the back, we have the tech lock system. Again, we use only brass or steel post. We remove the rubber washers that come with the tech lock and put the heavy duty marine grade nylon spacers along with the alloy steel screws. Very, very strong. It will not come off. Very little flex and movement because of the heavy duty nylon spacers. Also on our piggyback system, the way we attach our secondary knife sheath, the screws can be removed and that can be worn around your neck, much like the one I have on and you can carry just a larger knife in the sheath and also the advantage to having the tech lock is all of our eyelets on each side on every sheath we build we put enough eyelets at three quarter inch on center all the way down the length of the sheath so that you can take the tech lock system or molly lock system or molly clip system and move them and mount them anywhere on both sides or on both sides together and attach these sheaths to packs carry it on your waist turn the tech locks horizontal, carry it scout carry, ranger carry horizontal. The options there are unlimited, which is why you'll see on every hailstorm sheath, we put eyelets every three quarters of an inch all the way down on the complete sheath. If you look at a lot of the other sheaths on the market, you'll only have a few eyelets to hold the kydex together and we don't believe in skimping here. So we seal everything up and put the eyelets and seal all of the seams all the way around. We want this to be as heavy duty as it can possibly be so that it'll give you years and years of service. 
So, one of the things that, uh, if you're familiar with Kydex, and if you're not, if you see, here's a quick lesson. Anytime you have Kydex, when you go to insert a knife, you should have the Kydex click. That Kydex knife should snap in there very quickly, and you should be able to shake it without the knife falling out. Here at Hailstorm, we design every knife. The last thing we do before we ship these out is we do a final polish on the Kydex edge. And then what we do is we do a shake test with every knife we have to make sure that the retention is good. And again, this snaps in very firmly retained. You simply push down with the thumb and pull up and the knife will slide right out. The last thing you can do and you need in the wilderness when you need a knife is to have lost it because it fell out of a cheaply made or poorly made sheath. So this is one of the sheaths we have here, the SC6 and SC Azula model. Also, I uh, want to point out here at Hailstorm that not only do we carry the very, very large premium piggyback models, we carry a lot of the most popular bushcraft and woods models. Uh, here we have the brand new BK-17 uh, that just came out. We already have it here. And this is an inside the waistband sheath. Again, you can hear the click. Uh, this is a custom loop that we've designed and we put on some of our sh smaller sheaths. It's designed to be worn inside the waistband. Uh, if you look at our quality, again, every one we build, all the seams and all the edges on every sheath we make, even for the smaller knives uh, like the Becker 16 and some of the mores that you're going to see here in a few moments, all of our seams are rounded off, buffed, polished. Uh, this again is heavy duty 090. Even with the smaller knives, we don't skimp on the quality. And again, everything that we make is made here in the USA. So as you take out the 17 and push it back in, there's your click. And when you shake it, you have the shake test. There's one. Here we have a very, very popular knife in the bushcraft world. This is the Mora companion in carbon steel and you'll notice mine's patina we actually use our knives here at hailstorm because we spent a lot of time in the woods testing these products uh same thing this is od green 080 again the click here's another one of our custom belt loops eyelets three quarters of an inch the same seams and i'm going to quit saying that but you're going to see this process on every sheet that we show you in the next few minutes here again buffed rounded polished very high quality and of course pass the shake test also this is the becker series this just happens to be my personal bk2 you'll see the tiger stripe patina the micarta handles and the stainless hardware because this is my personal knife and i use the stock bk2 uh, from k bar to build the sheets with but even on this heavy very heavy and those of you that are handled the BK-2, you know how heavy and thick this knife is. Even on the big BK-2, our sheaths will pass the shake test. And it's obvious you can hear the click for excellent retention. You can do just about everything you want. These loops, I left these loose on purpose. You can take these loops, carry them as a cross draw, tighten the screws down. You can take the loops, put one on each side, carry this horizontally if you like. And again, these are custom loops that we made. And even, I don't know if you can see that glare in the sunlight, even on the edges of our loops, we buff and polish and round all of our edges because we want them to be nice and smooth and comfortable to wear where we don't have sharp edges of that heavy duty Kydex digging into your body anywhere whenever you decide to wear one of these sheets. And just quickly moving down the line, here we have the SE3. And this is a custom model with another loop. We call this the J loop. And we've actually designed this loop so that you can carry this sheath horizontally, either at the small of the back or off to one side in the front. And again, just another one of the models we carry. This is the SE3. And you'll see the same thing throughout. Keep in mind, folks, we do custom work. This is a one of a kind custom Randall. It's got a little dust on it there custom designed Randall hunting knife. This particular customer wanted multi-cam or super cam as it's called on some other websites. And of course we can accommodate any type of custom blade. You'll notice that's a very unusual blade shape. We can work with just about everything and you retain the same quality. If you'd like to see some pictures of more models, you can visit us at our webpage. It's Hailstorm. H-A-L-E, Hailstorm, custom kydex.com. 
You can email me at hailstormcustomkydex at hotmail.com. And we'll go down the line and show you just a couple more of these. Uh, this, of course, again, the new BK-16, which we already have that one as well. This particular customer wanted one in desert tan. There's our click. This one has two custom belt loop because they just wanted a standard hip carry knife. Wanted something heavy duty. Again, 080 Kydex, same seams, everything that you can expect from Hailstorm Custom Kydex. One other system that I wanted to, to showcase really quick was here's another piggyback model. That's the Becker BK-7 and the BK-14 or the BK-11. You'll notice inside the big BK-7, very popular knife. And then the BK-11, the secondary knife. Again, same marine grade spacers, same tech lock system, same brass and steel screws. Custom fire steel with the handle, marine grade bungee cord, all of the things that you've already seen, we're trying to showcase and show everyone that when you order from Hailstorm Custom Kydex, we don't skip on quality on any of the sheets that we build. The beauty of the BK system, because it's Becker system, you can take the BK-11 or the BK-14 and they're interchangeable. So if you have one knife or the other, or you prefer one, a lot of people like this handle versus the 11, you can carry both in one sheath. And again, these are removable, just like the SE models, and you can take this off, wear it as a neck sheath, and all of our eyelets on every sheath we make, once again, three quarter inch on center, which accommodates the tech lock system, molly systems, et cetera, et cetera. And that's on every sheath we build as well. Just to let you know, we do custom work for high grade knives, premium knives, if you're familiar with zero tolerance, this is a Zero Tolerance 0100 model. Very, very popular outdoor and combat knife. This is a custom made, Molly compatible, heavy duty tactical sheath for a customer that wanted to fit this very unusual blade. And what we do here at Hailstorm Kydex when we have something unusual like this is if we need to build a jig to accommodate this weird cookery style blade, we will build a jig so that you get the same click same retention and everything stays the same and again our perfectly rounded buffed and polished seams virtually seamless on every sheet that we build this is just an example of some of the custom work that we do here and we throw in a paracord lanyard leg lanyard or just a length of paracord for you to have on everything some of the sheets don't have it on there but we always include these uh, just a way of saying thank you to our customers uh, I think I showed you the Kandiru and the Hunglis. We build a very large knife sheath as well. This is the standard BK9 Becker, the K-Bar Becker BK9. Uh, it's tech lock compatible at the top, which allows it to be carried down low where it can be open along with the big bulge on those Becker scales. And then we've spaced these eyelets at one and a half because just about everyone that carries this knife, because it's so long, you've got plenty of room for attachment options. And the tech lock is actually one and a half inch or three quarter inch. So you can still put that tech lock anywhere all the way down both sides or molly locks, large and small, will attach anywhere on this sheath. And last but not least, here's another sheath. Again, this one uh, inside the waistband model. This particular customer wanted desert tan three-quarter eyelets. This is the Mora Robust. A little bit dusty from the Kydex. Once again, every sheath we build has the click and passes the shake test and our very beautiful polished seams, virtually seamless. So, just wanted to take a few minutes of your time in YouTube land and show everyone some of the quality that we're trying to offer here at Hailstorm Kydex. Want to make sure, zoom in there, you can get my phone number that's my personal cell phone number we're not afraid to give that out it's just me in the shop i build everything myself by hand one at a time for every customer with usa made parts if you'd like to order something or get a quote check me out at hailstormcustomkydex.com my ebay id if you'd like to see some of my stock sheets is hailstorm custom kydex and it will bring up all the things that i have to offer that are currently listed and also, if you'd like to email me, I can be reached at hailstormcustomkydex at hotmail.com. Once again, I want to make sure that everyone sees the quality and sees that here at Hailstorm, we do not skimp. We don't use the cheaper 060 Kydex, and we try to use the finest components that we can find. And we would love to build a sheath for you 
please contact me. Thank you. Have a good day.